So here's where we are in the story. Jesus taught people about God's kingdom, and sometimes he told stories or parables. This is the parable of seeds and a farmer. Jesus told this parable in Matthew 13, Mark 4, and Luke 8, when a crowd of people showed up to hear Jesus teach. No, 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 I mean a huge crowd. There were so many people, Jesus had to get into a boat. They pushed out from shore, and Jesus started his parable. Oh, look at that, I'm a farmer. The kingdom of God is like a farmer who scattered seeds in his field. Some seeds fell right onto the path. And birds swooped down and devoured all the seeds. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where the soil wasn't deep enough for anything to take root. Oh, put my sunglasses on. Then the sun rose. The seeds were scorched, baked on hot, rocky ground, and they withered away. And other seed fell among thorns. Ouch! Thick, tangly thorns. Ow! That grew like weeds. Ouch! The thorns grew faster, bigger, stronger. Ow! and choked the poor little sprouts. Without sunshine or water, those seeds also withered. But then, some seeds fell into good soil and grew into plants that produced tons of grain. Wow, look at all these plants. Whoa, wow. And those plants grew more seed of their own and yielded or produced a crop that was 30, 60, a hundred times more than what the farmer originally started with. Then Jesus said, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Which might seem like a weird thing to say to a huge crowd of people who literally just heard this parable, but this parable is kind of confusing. And people asked Jesus to explain it, so that's what he did. Jesus said the farmer spreading seeds was like God, and the seed being spread was the good news of God's kingdom. In his kingdom, love and kindness and justice grow, grow, and grow. But the same seeds landed in different places, and not all those places were ready for the seeds. Jesus said this was like people who hear the good news will respond in different ways. Some seeds landed in the path where birds swooped in and ate them up. The seeds were gone almost as soon as they landed. This is like when people forget about Jesus as soon as they hear about him. It never sinks in, and it doesn't stand a chance. Some seeds landed on rocky soil where they didn't form deep roots, and then they got baked in the hot, scorching sun. This is like when people are happy to receive Jesus, but their faith doesn't go deep. They have a shallow faith. And so when something sad or difficult happens, their faith withers away. It isn't rooted. Some seeds landed among thorns where they were blocked from sunshine and water. Ow! The thorns are anything that distracts people from following Jesus. Yup, anything. Ouch! And then there was the good soil. Good soil is ready to receive. This is like when people hear about Jesus and how he came to rescue us from the biggest problems we'll ever have, sin and death. These people really let the good news sink in. They believe, they have faith, even if something sad or difficult happens, and they stay focused on Jesus. Now, it might seem like this parable was just about growing bigger, stronger, like a tree. But remember, we aren't the seeds or the plants or the farmer. We're the soil. We can hear about Jesus, we can put our faith in him, and we can choose to follow him. But only God can make our faith grow. That's because God does for us what we can't do for ourselves. And Jesus will go on to show that God's love and power is the ultimate rescue. And I can't wait for you to hear that story.